What is happening y'all? I'm super, super stoked to show y'all this video today. So this is a little bit of a different video. I'm actually, I was doing some kayak fishing and it was an awesome day. But before I start the video, I wanna show y'all at the end of the video, what is gonna be happening. My timer is actually going off right now. And so at the end of the video, I show y'all how to cook some of this. This is like one of my favorite meals that I've ever cooked for catch and cook. So this is crab stuffed flounder right here so y'all check out the end of the video if y'all want to see how to make this recipe it is super super awesome super easy you guys watched in the video if y'all want to see that also you guys will notice that Christy and I are fishing falcon rods now super excited we got a lot of big things coming up with them so with that being said you guys roll the video and I'll see y'all at the end show y'all how to cook this awesome recipe all right here we go I can get used to this, dude. This is what I need. Tally ho. It was nice knowing you guys. That's right, boot scoot and boogie. Yeah. Alright, y'all, here we go. Kayak fishing. Can't ask for a better day than this. I'm gonna tell you what. I have the uh, pleasure of being out here with uh, my buddy Colton up here on the left. And he's hooked it up with the Hobie. So today riding in luxury. Target species today, people. Flounder, trout, maybe some redfish, Spanish mackerel. But today to catch anything from a kayak, I will be more than stoked on. All right, y'all, Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet, 3 8 ounce jig head. There we go. That's a fish. That's a much better fish. Going into the rocks. That's a decent sized flounder. Whew, it's tough to get these flounder in the boat when you're kayak fishing. Uh, one fish, two fish. Yeah, man. I subscribe. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, your last video brought me out here. Oh, really? <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, catching a bunch of these guys. They're still fun on light tackle. They are. It's a blast. better dang okay I don't know what this is that's a big flounder all right y'all I'm hooked up to a keeper flounder hey hey you got your net I got a really nice flounder here comes Colton with the net job I know it's super clear isn't it teamwork Definitely a keeper. He's going into the ice. There you go. Dinner is served. That's right. Literally. Now I'm going to get another one. He's going to need some company in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in there. They start flopping around. They're all upset. Yeah. Um, you got a buddy coming. <laughs> right on. Just like that. Sweet. Thanks, Never dog. Happened. Right now, we've got some pretty sweet, actually, like military boats cruising out of the inlet. That's pretty awesome. But fishing an outgoing current, outgoing tide, and we've got a nice tide line right here that's right up against these rocks. There's like a little eddy, and I've picked off like three flounder right in that one specific area. Um, so, yeah, right now we're just casting it up current, up current, and current's um, coming out so 
you know, casting it up current and working it back. Like I said, a lot of these flounder, oh, there's a fish right there. Oh man, it's talking to you guys, I missed it. There he is. He didn't know he was hooked and I didn't know that uh, I had him hooked. It doesn't feel that big. Fun little, fun little flounder looking for the giant. But we'll take it. Come here. Legal fish in some states, but not in mine. Peace out. All right, y'all, I get a lot of people that ask me questions. Flounder fishing about like tandem rigs or do I fish tandem rigs or should they fish tandem rigs? Hey, some people, they like to fish tandem rigs and that's their style. I like to keep, just generally speaking, I like to keep fishing pretty simple and um, you know not too complicated. Uh, I will fish a tandem rig sometimes, but personally, I just like just straight to a jig head. I feel like I can feel the bite a little better, and it just works for me. Yeah, you guys. So we just have this outgoing tide right here, and the eddy's like right in there, so makes for an ideal fishing spot. Current, no current, structure current line oh that was a fish right there there's a fish oh yeah it was a little bigger these fish are just stacked right in here oh he pulled off not gonna lie you guys I'm a little new to this kayak fishing game but I like it There we go. That's a fish. Dang. Think I got a good one. I really need a net. Oh yeah. Come in here. Open your mouth. Help me help you. Decent flounder. Peace out, Cub Scout. There's a fish. Feels a little bigger. Come on. Got one keeper that we're gonna take home with us. This one's probably right at it. All right, y'all, this is just like, I don't know. This is some awesome conditions right here. It's like mid outgoing tide. Just have a really good current right there, ripping across those rocks. These flounder are just stacked right in here. Like if I get a bite and he gets off, it's like two pops later, like, there he is. All right, y'all, small little flounder. Today, Berkeley Gulp, Orange Tiger Swimming Mullet. I just did a tutorial on these uh, not too long ago. So if you guys want a little bit more information on how to fish it, then um, absolutely check that out. That's a fish. That's a fish. That feels a little bit better. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I think I got my second keeper. Hey Brett, this might be your dinner. All right y'all. Second keeper of the day, not a bad fish. 
Here we are back in the kitchen and today you guys, I am super excited to share with y'all this recipe. Today we're gonna do crab stuffed flounder. And right now as the flounder, at least in our fishery, are definitely showing up. So I hope that you guys uh, give this recipe a shot. And it's very easy, but it's like super exquisite type food. If you get a restaurant, it's gonna be uh, mega, mega expensive. And I'm gonna show you guys right here how to do it. We're gonna fillet this flounder. Okay, so the way that I fillet my flounder is really easy. I just do one cut behind the head, one cut in the middle, and then I just work my blade of my knife just back down from the tail up. All right, y'all, so here it is, crab stuffed flounder. So I've got my four flounder fillets right here. We've got our ingredients. So we've got our crab meat. Uh, I kind of cheated, got this at the grocery store. I've got uh, just, this is like ground up uh, crackers. Just these uh, nut thins right here, smokehouse flavored. Uh, I don't know, smokehouse flavored, sounds nice. We've got some onion, and then we just have our seasoning over here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump our crab meat. So we've got our crab meat right here. And then we're gonna add some onions. Just diced yellow onions right here. Crab meat with onions. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this ground up uh, crackers. Y'all can use whatever you want with this. I'm not even measuring this stuff out. This is how easy this recipe is. So just, we've got our crackers right there, onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil just to give it just a little bit of moisture. I'm gonna add some pepper, do some lemon juice. So we're gonna do some cayenne pepper just to give it a little bit of a kick. And then we're gonna add some paprika. So here we have our mixture right here. And we're just gonna Mix it all together. So the next thing we're gonna do, the final step, this is very easy. Final step, we're gonna add an egg. And the egg is just gonna help it like hold together, pretty much like if you're making like crab cakes or something. So y'all can pretty much add whatever ingredients that you want. Some people do peppers, some people do jalapenos, uh, just really anything that you think will taste good in here. I'm just kind of showing you guys like the basic format, like template for this recipe and y'all can add whatever you want. Okay, so here's our flounder fillets right here, you guys. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna season these. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of some paprika and obviously you want to make sure that you get both sides. We're gonna do some garlic because you can never go wrong with garlic and some cayenne pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of salt, just for taste, and of course, pepper. All right, y'all, so here it is, now the fun part. So we've got our seasoned flounder fillets right here, and dang, these look so good. I could just eat those alone. We've got our crab meat right here, ready to go. And our non-stick baking, baking pan with our olive oil on there. So all we're gonna do now this is the fun part. We are going to add this crab meat. We're gonna put it right here in the flounder fillets. So you just have a bunch of crab meat there, and then you're just gonna roll it up. Okay, so you just roll it up. So there it is. That is what we're gonna eat tonight. There's one word that I like to use to describe this, and that is dank. That's only one word I can use to describe it. So then we're just gonna move this to the pan. Even the really thin, uh, the really thin slices of flounder will roll up very nicely. Stuff it up in there. It's like bacon wrapped scallops. Okay, there it is. That is straight up money, y'all. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite recipes next to the Kobe one that I just did. But y'all definitely have to give this a shot. Preheat the oven to 400, wrap your flounder fillets in some crab meat, and enjoy because that right there is going to be sick. Double pack.
<laughs> Alright, let's see what these look like. About probably 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes I've been cooking these and oh my gosh. Look at that right there. That is money. Crab meat, flounder meat. Man. All right, y'all, there it is. I hope you guys try this recipe. It is so easy, so easy. All the ingredients will be listed in the description below. Okay, taste test. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers, y'all. That is like the best fish that I've prepared next to that cobia. Oh my gosh. Crab meat with flounder. Y'all, this straight up tastes like I'm eating heaven right now. Okay, that's official. That's like my favorite fish recipe that I've cooked yet. All right, that's pretty much all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope y'all can repeat this catching a flounder and also cooking this amazing recipe. But that's all I got for today. Thank you all for watching. And drop us a like if you guys like this video, comment below. And, and thank y'all for supporting this channel. We, we really, really appreciate it. Thank y'all. It really means a lot to Kirsty and I. With that being said, I'm going to eat the rest of this. And I will catch y'all later. Peace out. One more shot of this.